Hey guys, Bob Brenneman here with you, and I'm a realtor in Mount Pleasant, and today I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the amenities in Rivertown, and I don't think you can start a tour of the amenities in Rivertown Country Club without uh, checking out the golf course, which I'm going to take you guys around uh, with me as I play today. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so right next to the um, golf course is the pool and amenity center for Rivertown Country Club members. And it's locked up today because the pool is closed for the season, which you can kind of see. And then adjacent to that, you've got a children's play park. And tennis courts. You've got a nice basketball court, which they just put in, I guess. And then you've got uh, tennis courts. And I think these are true hard, which is what, what I always thought was clay, but it's not. Um, and these are part of your Rivertown Golf club amenities set up all right y'all so we left the golf course and we are over here at the Rivertown um, amenity center for the people that live in Rivertown Lawando and again today it's March the 12th I believe so nobody's at the pool because it hadn't quite opened yet but you can kind of see how it sets up and we're very close to the river so you get nice river breezes during the summer from this spot I really uh, like this neighborhood in relation to just the kind of the architectural style I think most people do. For the price point, it's a great price point if you're looking to stay, you know, if you're, you know, wanting these type of amenities and want to stay in the fours to fives, there's opportunity out here for that. All right, so right next to the swimming pool, you have tennis courts. Looks like you have three of them. And then adjacent to the swimming pool, uh, you have a kids' play area. And this all sides a uh, fishing lake. All right, y'all, so we're down from the um, river town on the Wando Amenity Center with the pool and the tennis courts I just showed you. And now we're walking down to kind of an area that is for people that live back here to fish and crab. And those that own boat slips uh, have a place to keep their boat. And you can see we're on the uh, banks of the Wando River, and this is a true uh, deep river. Uh, it is tidal, so you get about a probably four to five foot swing, uh, depending on the tides. And to our left, where I'm pointing the camera right now, leads on out to uh, Charleston Harbor and on out to the ocean. And then back up this way, you go further up Paradise Island, Allendale, uh, further up the creek, or river rather. And you can see this dock facility is for Wando, Rivertown the Wando property owners and their guests. And I am neither one of those right now, so that's where I'll stop. But you can see down there, you can uh, fish, crab, kind of hang out. One of the things that makes this kind of feel like a little small town, uh, this part of Rivertown, is their little postal center. So this is where you get your mail. Some people uh, don't like having it not delivered to their house, but I think it's a good way for you to possibly get to meet your neighbors um, and people in your community you wouldn't otherwise get to meet.
you have lots of these uh, fishing ponds uh, that kind of scatter throughout the neighborhood. Okay, so right outside of the uh, main gates to Rivertown, you have, um, you know, shops and restaurants. You have a Harris Teeter grocery store. I believe a doctor's office. And, you know, just things that you would need. And this is, you know, again, is a plus, I think, about living in this area is that you have the grocery store tied in directly to it. And then right across the street, which I won't get video of right now, but is a... Uh, a uh, new Lowe's grocery store, not to be confused with Lowe's, the home improvement store. And that's a wrap. Uh, if you want to talk about real estate in Mount Pleasant or anything related to uh, the area, please give me, Bob Brenneman, a call at 843-345-6074. Till next time, y'all.